One of the things that really throws people at first with the AD Recycle Bin is just how difficult it is to enable it. You do have to go into Windows PowerShell, import the Active Directory module, and then run this very long Enable AD Optional Feature command. Now, before this will even work, your domain and your forest both need to be operating at the Windows Server 2008 R2 functional level. And that means every single domain controller also needs to be running Windows Server 2008 R2 or later. So when we hit enter, uh, it will let us know that this is an irreversible action. In other words, we can't turn this back off again if we change our mind later. One reason you really want to think about this is because part of what it's doing is going to keep a copy of all your deleted objects and all their information. Now some organizations, depending on the laws of the land, might have a problem doing that. You see, a lot of times your Active Directory user accounts will have users' personally identifiable information attached to them. When you delete it, you want that to go away. But with the Recycle Bin it doesn't, because that's the whole point, of course. Now that's not really any different of a situation from a normal AD backup. You always have backups of these things lying around, but just make sure you understand how it applies to your organization. We'll go ahead and turn this on. Once it's finished, you'd think we could hop right down into Active Directory Users and Computers, perhaps uh, hit a little refresh action in here and, and see our recycle bin, but, but it turns out there isn't one. Let's just jump in here and uh, find a user that we can delete. Yes, we'll delete that user. And still no recycle bin. Well, unfortunately, that's because the Active Directory Users and Computers Recycle Bin isn't actually a visual recycle bin like you might have been expecting. The trick, of course, is that you're kind of expected to do all of this recovery from the command line. Now, that's it, not necessarily a requirement. You can run LDAP.exe or LDP. Let's see, on options, we're going to go to controls. We are going to make sure that we are returning recycled objects. The connection, hit connect, connect to my forest route in this case. This is just going to take a few moments while it actually uh, opens that LDAP port. Then we can bind. I know there's a lot of steps. I, I told you this wasn't simple. Then we can view the tree, connect to the base DN of our domain, and you can eventually get in and, and find your any recycled objects. As complicated as it may seem, it's actually easier to do that from the command line. Once you've got the Active Directory module loaded, it's a get AD object minus filter. You're going to need to find some way of specifying the object that you're after. I'll just use a wildcard search with the person's last name. And oh, you do have to remember to include deleted objects. There they are. Once you get that done, you can restore the AD object. And if we hop over back in here and refresh this container, we should see that person flip back in. Yeah. So it's not completely impossible, but it's certainly not as easy as just a simple drag and drop operation that you might have expected it to be when you saw a name like Recycle Bin.